a small outcrop in the German Bight, and home to Rolf Bladel. Once he was a police officer here. These days, he's in charge of environmental protection. I've been here for 30 years, and every day I've gone out over the island and discovered something new. He ventures out even when it's stormy like today. Bladel goes to the dune, an offshore sandbank that lies about a kilometer from the main island. This is one of the places he's responsible for. He drops by regularly because some 400 seals live here, and they're one of the island's biggest attractions. As conservation officer, he makes sure the animals are doing well. Heligoland is a natural environment, and so is the dune. You just have to see it. You have to show it to people, because nowhere else do you have the opportunity to observe gray seals, the largest predators we have, at such close range. The island of Heligoland is a rocky outcrop of colored sandstone, limestone, and chalk. It provides a habitat for many animals and plants, and exactly 1,307 humans. People here used to earn a living from fishing. Since the 1950s, their main source of income has been tourism. About 400,000 tourists come here every year, attracted by Heligoland's unique location, fresh air, and duty-free shopping. Nearly all arrive by ferry, 70 kilometers over the often choppy North Sea. We're glad about every single person who comes to the island. We try to offer them everything they want. The dune is the heart of the island, so to speak. And they can lie in the sun over there. An old song goes, in the summer when our guests come, we welcome them in Heligoland and we treat them well. Heligoland measures a total of 1.7 square kilometers. You can walk around it in a couple of hours. No cars are allowed. Nature reigns supreme here. So I'm standing on front of the cross on top of Heligoland's highest mountain, 61.3 meters above sea level. From here you have the best view of the entire island, and we're proud of our summit here in the middle of the North Sea. If you go to Heligoland, not only will you enjoy fascinating flora and fauna, You'll also see the island's most famous crag, Langa Anna, Tall Anna, a stack or freestanding rock column cut off from the main island by the sea. Heligoland itself is a landmark, but the island's landmark is the Langa Anna. Until 1860, it was connected to the main island. And that's why we call it the Natuanstak in our dialect. It's a natural arch that was formed when the waves eroded part of the island. Since then, it stood alone. It's 47 meters tall and weighs 25,000 tons. Heligoland, a small spot in the North Sea. And for its residents, the most beautiful place on Earth.